Hello guys, welcome to PyLearning. If you are a Python developer, Python enthusiast, or someone who is interested to learn more about Python programming language, consider subscribing. In the last two videos, we talked all about different ways to read data from a CSV. In this tutorial, we are going to know all about writing data to a CSV. However, if you haven't yet checked the tutorials on reading data from a CSV, click on the i link on the top right corner of the video and first go ahead and watch those two tutorials. It's important. So guys, let's talk about writing data to a CSV. Now, in the previous tutorial, we already wrote this code where we are reading data from a CSV using the CSV library. We are going to reuse this code again and now using the data that we read from the CSV, we are going to output the data to another CSV called result.csv. So what we can do is here before we start reading the CSV file by opening the file, uh, let's write another with here. So we can say with open result.csv, the file where we are going to write all the data in writable format. So there are lot, lots of types of format. One is the readable format, which is denoted by R. So in that case, when you open the file using the write, readable format, you cannot write anything to it. You cannot make any changes to it. However, we are going to open this with the writable format. It's denoted by small w. And we are going to say it as S output. Right. And now we will indent the entire code so that the whole thing is within the width uh, output uh, uh, line. So now here we, you can see first we open result.csv in a writable format and then we open the uh, input csv whatever the name is here as the input file. Now don't worry uh, if the result dot even if you haven't created a result.csv python will automatically create the result.csv for you. So you don't have to worry about that that you haven't created it. Now here like we have uh, defined a reader object here a data is equal to csv dot reader. Similarly, we have to also define a writer object. So what we can do is before defining the reader object, you can we can also say output underscore data equal to csv dot writer and then we'll pa pass the name of the uh, output file that we are going to uh, that where we are going to output. So here we can pay, uh, place output because we have defined uh, the result.csv in the writable format as output. So we can define output here and then in the delimiter we can mention comma because that's what we want to maintain, right? The delimiter in the input file was comma and we also want to maintain the same delimiter in our output file. So now instead of printing anything here, everything else is the same line underscore count equal to zero. Now when we first read the first line, basically this place, line underscore uh, underscore count equal to equal to zero instead of printing what we are going to say is we have to write that line to csv right so what we can say is csv dot write row uh, sorry not csv dot write row we have to say because we have already defined an output data here the writer object so we are going to use that object so we will say output data dot write row and then in the in the row the uh, the row will pass as row basically for row in data output data dot write row row right nothing much similarly here instead of printing this row contains all these values we are going to do the same thing so we can say output data dot write row and within brackets we can pass in the row uh, the row parameter so now let's run this file so here you can see uh, automatically a result.csv is created. We see the number of rows process is 3302 and all the data has been written to CSV. This is like the most easiest way how you can write data to CSV. Now let's think about it. This is not ideally what you would be doing in data engineering in companies. You won't be just copying data from a different CSV or reading data from a CSV and then copying or writing the same value to a different CSV, right? You have to do some transformation. You have to analyze the data basically. Now, right now we are going to analyze the data. We are going to do the same procedure, 
but instead of just writing the same value to csv we are going to do some analysis we are going to add an extra column and then we are going to write it to a different csv right let's go back to the input file here you we can see that there is a column called high and there is a column called low they basically represent the highest value and the lowest value of the stock respectively for the same date right on this date that's what they represent so here now we are going to add a column called difference and the difference column would be the difference between the highest value and the lowest value for that day okay we are going to calculate the difference column and then we are going to add, add that column to this data and then write that the total data to a different csv right so, uh, let's write that to the same result.csv it will be easier so here what i can say is first when it's line count equal to equal to zero i mean think about it when you're writing <coughs> reading the column row first we have to append a new column to the row right there is no difference column there so what i can do here is i can say row dot append now why i'm saying append I'll, I'll tell you in a minute so i can say row dot append and let's call the column diff right before i do this uh, let's see what kind of row it is let's print out the type of the row so if i do this you will see the row type is a list basically so the list contains different values all the uh, different column values is contained in the list so to add another element to the list i can use the append function right so here that's why i did row dot append diff what it basically does is now it is going to append another row uh, another value to the row let me print the row here so you also know what exactly this append thing is doing so now along with date open high low last volume open interest we have another column called as diff so this is exactly what it is doing after it is uh, after we append it we pass the same row inside the right row object right similarly for the rows that are not that are not the column rows they are basically the data rows we can do the same thing and now what we can do is we can say row dot append float now let's go back to the input file we can see that the high column is the third column and low column is the fourth column and we also saw that those rows are being returned as list so we can safely say that the high column is on the second index and the low column is on the third index right so this is the second index and this is the third index so i can use that in my code and say float row 2 minus float row 3 right now you're wondering why am i saying uh, why am i using the float function here because inside the list those uh, uh, those uh, values are uh, decoded as string they are not float there i can show you that if i print type let's print the type of the row so this will return what kind of type the uh, not row basically the row 2 object right let's print the type here and here we can see the type is a string so if i say uh, 144.0 minus 132.0 where both of them are string i will not get anything i will get an error so i have to first convert that to float and then i have to uh, do my subtraction or any kind of oper operation that you want so here I, let me remove this first and now basically row dot append so we can uh, uh, subtract the second index value minus the third index value and then we can pass the row inside the right row object right so let's see now if you run the test 2 again and then the uh, uh, code has executed properly let's go back to the result.csv so here you can see we have a new column called as diff and we have new values here that represent uh, the difference between the highest value and the lowest value let's do some checking so here you can see highest and the lowest both are 486 so the value is zero right let's check some other where the value is not zero yeah okay i noticed something here yeah so here you can see the value is 12.5 i see the highest uh, the high value is 447 it's the second index right so zero this is the date 
this is the first call uh, column and this is the second column so it is 447 and the lowest value is 434.5 this gives us 12.5 as difference right so this thing is working basically i'm sure there are must uh, must be other rows where the yeah we have a positive difference here you can see we have 18.25 here the highest is uh, 554.25 and the lowest is 536.0 so you can do your math in uh, in fact uh, if you, uh, you if you are uh, coding along with me you can see the difference yourself so this is it guys this is all about writing data to a csv using python csv library now i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you want me to teach you something that you are really looking for please mention it in the comment section below if you like the video do share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel and please come back because next time we are going to learn about Google Sheets and Python integration. Thank you guys.